Bronfman is about understanding Judaism, understanding our own identities. Bronfman is, it's unlike anything on the face of it. It just, it really is. My mom suggested to me that I apply to Bronfman. I said, wow, there's no way this is an experience I want to miss out on. I wrote all these essays and spent a really long time working on them, thinking about my Judaism, and then I got an interview. The interview is just a small taste of the fellowship, so to spend five weeks doing it would be superb. It is literally a trip to Israel, but the purpose of the fellowship is not to see Israel. The purpose of the fellowship is to explore Judaism in all of its forms through conversations with fellows, through conversations with the faculty, and in a dialogue with Israel. Your day always starts with a text study discussion-based period, where a faculty member will introduce some kind of text on the subject that they've taught. The combination of the brilliance of the faculty, the diversity of the fellows, and the really wide range of texts that were brought was really an entirely new mode of study. You learn to wrestle with all these different new ideas and, and, and with people who completely disagree with your viewpoints and you learn to really understand what they're getting at. Nothing is one-sided on Bronfman. No tour is with one narrative. When we were looking at the Western Wall, we did the typical tour activity and then we got out a text and we discussed the historical significance of the place but also the issues that are provoked by this place. The Jewish perspective, from a Christian perspective, from an Islamic perspective, the status of Jerusalem said something about the status of God. They always wanted the tension to be present, so if you were going to engage any idea, no one in the room would agree. In my room, I was a secular Jew from Brooklyn, there was a conservative Jew from California, and there was a modern Orthodox Jew from Montreal. The way that California kids would read text versus how me and my fellow Georgian would read text is very different. So the diverse viewpoints have really affected the way I relate to Judaism and other Jews because I'm a little less sure I'm right, and that's been positive. Rothman is not simply five weeks in the summer, nor is it two other seminars, one in the fall and one in the spring. It is a vast alumni network that continues to connect for the rest of your life whenever you need to. I not only want to remain close with the Bronson people, but I want to seek out people who are zealous and passionate. I'm going to be going to college with four or five of the other fellows from my cohort, which I'm really, really excited about. When you have Bronfman on your CV, it's a statement. As soon as they, they see that you're a Bronfman fellow, they immediately know what type of person you are. They immediately know that, you're, that you care about learning, that you care about opening yourself up to, to new ideas. And something that Bronfman really just lodged for me is that I, I love Jewish learning. And I've been going to day school all these years for a reason. It's such an experience and such a thing to remember. Apply, it's the best thing you'll ever do in your life. <laughs>